and my alarm went off and it was like a fire 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 fire, 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 fire. fire. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a how to clean your stove, how to clean your oven. Um, this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while now and I've been needing to clean my oven, so what better chance than to do it today? Uh, lately I've been putting stuff to broil, but if you know that if you put it on the top rack, the oil will pop depending on what you're cooking and it touches like the flame, which makes a little mess here. So the other day I was cooking and my alarm went off and it was like a fire, a fire, 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 fire. fire. I'm like, Okay, this is my first time ever hearing that. Let me clean this oven the right way, properly, instead of just wiping it down. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Again, it's going to be clean with me, how to clean your oven, how to clean your stove. So if you're interested in this, just stay tuned. I thought the fire department was going to dispatch to my house. Luckily, they did not. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and tackle this now. So again, if you're interested in this, stay tuned. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get the cleaning. Cooked yesterday and i did not wipe down normally when i cook i will wipe the uh, the stove down but i won't like deep clean it but you know just if you notice any spills and stuff you could wipe it down but today i'm going to be doing a how to clean your oven and your stove and yeah so this is how it looks right now this is the before and we're gonna be deep cleaning i'm gonna show you how to clean your stove or your oven at least how i do it and i'm gonna go ahead and show you the oven so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the oven light just so you guys can see inside. You can see like the oil splatters and stuff and how it looks. You know, normally you're just taking your food in and out, but the grease is really not good in here. So you should really be cleaning this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, cleaning the oven. And again, this is the before. I wanna show you all the before stuff. I'll show you the outside and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so to create the mixture, we're gonna start off by just grabbing a bowl to mix everything into. And I'm gonna be using pure baking soda. So I have the baking soda here. And to create the mixture, I'm gonna mix the baking soda with this distilled white vinegar. I'm gonna put that here. And of course, make sure you have some gloves and you wanna get something so that you can scrub inside the oven. I got this scrub brush that I actually went and picked up from Target. And yeah, so this is pretty much what I'm gonna be using. And I'm gonna grab this uh, Fabuloso just so like when I wipe down the outside of the oven and everything, it could smell good. And yeah, so let's get started. So this is gonna be one cup. You want to get like a thick consistency. You don't want it like too watery or anything like that. You want it like a paste. So. Just mix that up. And you see how it's like kind of thick? That's how you want the consistency to be. Okay guys, so as you can see behind me, I went ahead and removed um, the burners and everything here. Everything from the racks, I removed the knobs. I also removed the racks from the oven and I got my gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on now. Again, I have my mixture here and I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the paste in the oven, in the stove. We're gonna let that sit for a while. Come on, let's get started. I'm just gonna start off with using my hands, quite honestly. So the glove says one size fit most, and of course I'm not most, so I don't know why would I believe that. Okay. 
I gotta get a new glove because this glove is clearly like not interested in staying on my hand. I did use up all the paste, so I'm gonna make a little bit more. And I think for on top here, I'm gonna put some of the vinegar in a spray bottle and I'm going to sprinkle the bacon soda. As well as for the racks, so I'm gonna spray it with vinegar and I'm gonna sprinkle some bacon soda on it. So let me go ahead and get new gloves and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the vinegar I put in the spray bottle and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this all over the stove top. So when I get ready to add the baking soda, as I'm doing now, it'll help stick with the white vinegar. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm spraying the racks with the vinegar. I'm gonna scrub this so I'm not too worried about this part. So I'm gonna scrub everything after. And again, I had to make some more of this paste. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these in a second. I was gonna wait to the end, but I went ahead and added some of this into my mixture. And now I'm just gonna let everything sit. Let it marinate for a while. I did where the knobs were. I did the outside. Of course I did the inside. And once I let this sit for a while, I'm gonna go in and like really scrub it. Um, and I also did the bottom here. So we're gonna give this like, let's see, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. And then when this goes off, we will come back. One hour later. So guys, it was about six o'clock when I set this 30 minute timer and it is now 7.12. So I don't know if it never went off or maybe I just didn't hear it, but now it's 7.12, like a whole hour later, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna start scrubbing and cleaning this up. Let me go fill up my bucket of water. I was trying to scrape these things off here and it was driving me crazy because it was not trying to come off at all. So I ended up using the back of a butter knife because if this, if these marks would have stood here, it would have drove me crazy. So yeah, this definitely helped scraping it with the back of the butter knife. Okay, for the most part, everything is done. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this water, pour out this water and get new water because this is filthy. Look how filthy the water was after. I'm gonna clean this bucket out, get some fresh water. Of course, when I'm finished, this cloth is gonna go in the garbage. Okay, so in order for me to properly keep wiping inside, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this door. It was definitely a hassle getting the door off because the latch up position said lock, but actually that's what took the door off. But anyway, it finally got off and I was able to clean inside properly. And then I had to go in and remove the oven floor because I got a bunch of baking soda and these little cracks that you see here. So this is me putting everything back now. Of course, it was more of a mission than I expected. But yeah, you have to use this portion of your screwdriver. Just take the bits out and use it. So after I put everything back, this is how it's looking inside. Let me turn the light on for you guys. The racks are clean. And now I just have to go ahead and finish washing the stuff so I can put it back on top of the stove. Gotta wash the plates. And I also have to wash the um, knobs as well. So that's what I'm doing here. I had everything soaking. I found out so many new things today. Like I thought these were like universal knobs. You can just put them back. I didn't know there was like a particular knob for each one because they all look the same, but after uh, messing around with it for a little while, I kind of I kind of figured out which one goes where. And yeah, I went ahead and got that situated.
Okay, I got them all in place. I just have the last knob to put here. I'm just wiping the racks down with a wet paper towel because there was a little bit of the baking soda residue. So I just don't want any like white spots on the rack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe these down again with a wet napkin. All right guys, so I'm just stopping by to let you know I finally finished cleaning the oven and the stove. I'm actually tired now, but um, it took longer than expected because I used a little bit too much baking soda. So it started falling to the bottom of the oven. I had to figure out how to take out the bottom of the oven, the floor part. So that's done, everything is done. Um, I couldn't get all like the grease from the window from when you pull the oven. So if you have any tips or tricks, leave them down below because I couldn't do that all the way, but I, it's much better than it was before. Um, so yeah, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching and as always be sure to like, comment and subscribe.